In fish, when the retina is damaged, new nerve cells grow back. The secret lies in a special type of cell called Mueller glia. Mueller glia also exist in the human retina, but when damage occurs, they only show a brief response, then stop completely. Why can't human Mueller glia carry the process through? Recently, a research team led by Professor Jinwoo Kim at KAIST finally uncovered a clue to the cause. What was blocking Mueller glia from regenerating was a single protein, PROX1. While examining the damaged retinas of mice, the team discovered an unusually high buildup of PROX1 inside the Mueller glia. The team traced the source of PROX1 and found that other neurons in the retina, especially bipolar cells, were the primary contributors. PROX1 produced by damaged neurons was transferred into Mueller glia, suppressing their ability to regenerate. To test this hypothesis, the team launched a series of experiments. When the PROX1 antibody was injected into mice with retinitis pigmentosa, they observed not only cell proliferation, but also signs of actual vision restoration. Of course, it wasn't complete regeneration like we see in fish. The recovery effect lasted for several months, but gradually declined. In other words, the recovery wasn't permanent. But what's clear is this. Regeneration, once thought impossible in a damaged mammalian retina, actually happened, and it was triggered by suppressing just a single protein.